Welcome back, y'all. Here we find ourselves yet again. It is time for more Minecrafting with Ultra Time. Today, we're going to be Minecrafting predominantly down this way here. We've got some things we have to address. Mainly this dude. We built this guy a couple episodes ago, and I know some of you said that it was fine. And it's not terrible. It's not a bad build. And I don't really want to say that you were wrong, but there is a slight possibility that maybe you are not correct. Because I think we can make it better. It's just, it's not the move. This is not what we need for this spot. We need something similar, but this ain't it. Before we get into that though, we're going to go back up yonder ways because I got something fun to show you. Way back, if some of you remember, at the when we were working on our medieval kingdom, we found a little flight path that we could take, a little kind of elytra course type deal. And I found one here for this kingdom here. You start up top and you three, two, one, go. Jump down this way here. You got to come around and kind of dodge and weave through the trees and then you shoot up this way. Go under the thing, through the doors, and eventually these trees will be gone, and they won't block the way, but then you can shoot up kind of into the, into the thing here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I planted these a while ago. I was going to chop these down on stream, and then I kind of just never got around to it. But, 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 today we have stuff we need to do, and we can't do any of it until we get this guy out of our way. This is one build that I'm actually super excited to tear down because I've got a couple of ideas that I think are going to take this build kind of to the next level. And that gives us a bit of a blank slate to work with here. That's going to make this quite a bit easier to fix. And don't be sad. I promise. I promise we're going to make it cooler. I was joking. I was joking when I said you were wrong earlier. I was joking. But we are going to make it cooler. I think one of the first things that I can identify about it that I don't like is it's just way too skinny. It's just a skinny little rectangle here. So. I think what we're going to do is we're going to bump it out a bit on this side here. Kind of like that, I reckon. Then we'll want to bump this side out a little bit too. There, now it's a circle. And I did keep the bench. I do like the bench, but it's got to go for now. We'll bring the bench back later because I think I want to actually do something with the floor. So let's try and knock out. Let's see. Why don't we go bink, 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 bink. Bink, bink, bink. There, and then that gives us a little bit of a circle in the middle of the floor here. I want to try and do a yin yang. I did one up on the subscriber. Here, let's just go. The trusty old subscriber palace. I love this thing. Still one of my favorite builds, but I did a yin yang. I tried kind of yin yang here. It's at a diagonal and I think the colors might be reversed, but I want to try and do that same kind of thing as the floor over here for our new little gazebo. So I want it to be like, as you walk in, there's a yin yang, maybe actually Let's make it a little bigger. What if we knock this out as well? There, that lets us kind of maximize the space. And then here's what I'm thinking. We'll do this side with our polished diorite. And we'll do this side with our polished deep slate. And then down here, we want the black side to come over a little bit more. Here, we want the, 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 the white side to come over a little bit more. I think maybe if we break this and do a diorite, we break this and do a deep slate, and then maybe we say deep slate, deep slate, die right, die right. And we're kind of slowly teasing that, that shape out of it. Then this is where the magic happens. Break this and do a deep slate. Break this and do a die right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you, and then you, we switch. And now it's a yin yang, kind of, except for the, the middle spot. We're actually gonna put birch log there because it's got a little bit of both. It's got the black and the white. I feel like that's a pretty good, little middle block that's not a bad little floor yin yang i think now we just need the rest of the the building See, I told you we would make it better didn't i isn't that better i think that's at least a little better for comparison so look here's what we have now, here's the now. Turn that off. Get a good look at the now. And then here's what we had before. Much better in my opinion. Let's go over there. I want to show you there are some cool little things that I did with this that I think make it kind of stand out and make it, if I could get up here, kind of extra cool. I went with the red and other brick all around. I didn't do any texturing on it. I thought about it, but I decided not to. Oh. No. 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 Little turd. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, I've got, I went with a red nether brick all the way around and I got these really cool little arches. I really like these. What I did was I came up with my 
with the walls, the wall black. And then I did a whole black, so you get a little quarter black kind of bump out here. And then above that is a stair, so then you get a little half black, half black. So like quarter black, half black, half black. And if you look at it, it makes a really nice kind of archway. You can see it even like on the corners, even on the diagonal ones, it still kind of does it a little bit. It's a little funky because of that part of the stair right there. But I think that's a nice kind of archway kind of look. Besides that, I used a lot of stairs kind of up and around the top on the roof to make it look like there were windows that could let in a lot of natural light. And speaking of light, I did rip this off from Twitter. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't know who it was. I can't give credit, but I can say this is not my design, but I thought it was a cool little design using the brewing stand up there just to give it some extra shape and then hanging the, the end rod down. It almost looks like a, like a, I don't know, one of those little lantern light things that you see. Let's see what else. We also doubled our benches. The benches were really cool, so I thought one bench was cool, two would be cooler. And then of course the yin-yang floor. You guys saw the yin-yang floor. I think it's not too bad. It's definitely not perfect. I think it might be easier to do it on an even, like with an even center instead of an odd numbered center. But because of how I did these arches, there's a two block in between each pillar. So that didn't really allow me, because I have this middle section here, it didn't really allow me to do an even center. So I'm still working on the yin-yang design. But I thought the arch design was cool and I thought the overall kind of look of the thing was cool. I think it's got a lot nicer shape than what it had before. It was just a big square thing with a big dumb square roof on it. And now we've got this nice round thing, little like a gazebo type thing, outdoor gazebo. And it's got a couple little roof sections. And I really like the little, the spire thingy that I made at the top. I don't know exactly what this is or what it's called, but I think it's a cool, cool little detail. I wanted it to look like it was like a gold ball kind of chilling up there, a big gold ball. I don't know. I think it looks cool. It blends in like how it ties in, like with the roof lines and, and stuff like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Also though, as well, and two, I must say I did get the, the arch design. I first used it over here, only kind of a little differently, but you can see, let me try if I can, let me see if I can go uh, uh, right here. You can see that's kind of how I did these arches, except I put the trap doors in there too. And I don't know if that's better or not, but it kind of does the same thing with the arch shape using the walls. We're gonna have to get rid of these trees one day and actually get back to work on this palace. It's been a while over here, excuse you, Sniffer. It's been a while since we've done any work over here. I've taken a bit of a break from it. This was a much bigger project than I originally anticipated. So kind of to avoid a bit of burnout and to give me an excuse to collect a bunch of resources on the side, we've been doing some other things like this tree and the gazebo and the cliff, the little cenote kind of area over here. I think they're all really awesome things that add a lot to this area. I'm really, really happy with them, but I think it's time that we turn our attention back to the palace. We got to get that thing finished up. I do have a bunch of other ideas for this area in general that I want to get to one day. Like for example, Saisho Village over here. I've always wanted to expand that. I've always wanted this to be a bigger kind of thing out over here. And ever since I've spawned into this world, I've actually wanted to do like a waterfall thing over here. I think this is a really cool kind of cliff area that is tucked way back here. And I think it could be pretty cool to have some waterfalls kind of coming out in a bunch of different spots. Same thing down here. We can put a little pool down here, a little magic pool, but, 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 but we have bigger fish to fry. So I think we're going to be turning our attention back to this. I think it's time. I think I have had enough of a break. I think we've made enough progress on some other things that are pretty daggum cool. I think we should come back here and we should get this guy tidied up. At least we should start. I think we're going to start out here in the courtyard. We're going to have to deal with these guys, our sniffers. We're going to have to get these trees out of the way as well, but I've got some really cool ideas for what we're going to do down here in the courtyard. And I think you guys are going to like, them. but I guess that's going to be it. Excuse you. I guess that's going to be it for now. I don't have anything else I wanted to do with this episode. Kind of a shorter one, but I did that on purpose. I'm trying to actually get ahead of myself a little bit if I can and have some episodes scheduled out into the future. That way I can have some time to make some big progress on that thing over there. So for now, I reckon that's going to be it. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think of the gazebo. Did we improve it? Did we make it worse? Should we have just left well enough alone? You tell me down in the comments below. I think we made it a thousand times cooler, at least. The double benches doubles the coolness. But I'm gonna get out of here for now. If you had fun, make sure and leave a like on the episode. It helps out a ton. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna come back and watch more. And I guess I will see you guys next time.